Hello everyone, today I just want to make a video kind of showing you the extent of my LEGO collection. Give you the full overview right now. This is all the LEGO I really have. There's all the minifigures right there. I have a, a base plate and a half mostly of minifigures, so yeah. Let's start with the Batman stuff basically. You got a Bane's mobile right here. See? Little spot for him to go in. You just take the lid off and he pops right in. You got the one from the uh, movie, The Dark Knight. He just fits right in there, whatnot. You got the propellers. And this is a Superman you get with the uh, Lego Batman, two DC superheroes movie, which <clears throat> I do have. It's just out living room right now. Um, you got the iconic Batmobile right here. The thing just lifts up like that. And you can go inside. There used to be big fire things up there, but I was using it for an animation before, and it. Didn't really look right like that if you're not having any speed, really. Then you got the, um, the bat uh, thingy that goes across the water or whatnot. You got the bat flying, the bat wing, I believe. It pops out like that, he can go flying anywhere. Bat low on each side. Most of these are dusty just because um, I haven't used them in a while. You got a helicopter right here, which is used for. Now you need no Deadpool and Wolverine, I believe that was what was in the set. Then this was too, I believe, I don't know. It's in one of the sets I have over here. This is, that's Marvel, sorry. Distracted. <clears throat> you got the Two-Face one right here. See two sides, purple and uh, orange it looks like, with some minigun on one side and rockets on the other. Big uh, crane, I guess, I don't know. Joker's helicopter right here. Some missiles, whatnot. Joker's face on each side. You got the bank that comes with uh, this set. It just breaks into. And it also comes with a two-faced thing. You look inside. You got the control vault thing. You got Catwoman's bike right there. Yeah, I got that too. You got some little parts. It's kind of broken. I can't remember what to find the pieces. Little barricades, really. You got the idea <coughs> Man of Steel set. Also comes with uh, Lois. Lois Lane, uh, Superman, and General Zod in his suit. And then up here, you got uh, Lex Luthor's suit or whatnot. So we already went through the helicopter. Now you got the Iron Man 3 Malibu Mansion. You got the Iron Man suit right there. Stuff like that, so that's pretty cool. Computers and whatnot. It's basically the base of operations if I make an animation for Marvel or whatnot, so that's cool. Move over, you got the boat. From the Iron Man 3, that's where that one comes from as well. Well, you got the little buoy, how do I pronounce it? You just go inside. It's big open space, which is nice. You also have these missiles that just shoot out if I press that button. If you want to go see more of this stuff, Most of, I mostly have reviews for a lot of this stuff, so if you want to go check them out, they're on my channel. Just search them up, and you'll find them. You got one that came with Loki, Hawkeye, and somebody else I can't remember, but you got this truck here. You can fit. One person. <laughs> got a the vehicle from the Spider-Man set I got not too long ago. Check out that re review too. Just type in probably Lego Spider-Man on my channel. You'll find it. It also comes with this. See? Just Spider-Man's vehicle, which the wheels turn out on the vehicle and Spider-Man thing. Doesn't make any sense because it doesn't have a vehicle. You know? Got Captain America's thing with the set, the Avenging Cycle, whatnot. And all the rings stuff. You got the big she lob over here. Nice spider. Little web comes out the back. Little spider. The attack of the warg set, which is a nice tall tree, which if you saw the hobbit, you'll recognize that. I'm not gonna spoil it for you. You got the spot where um these guys stand like that. So that's there. You got Lord um Lord of the Rings set with uh Smeagol, I guess. Actually knows Hobbit when they're in the caves thingy, read about it in the book. Which I actually have just over on the other table. And you got some more sets of things with the Merkward Spiders. That's what it's from. Tall tree, I do like it, and it does move around. So that's pretty cool. Um, Gandalf Arrives set. Not too much more there. Got the Council of Elrond, which I just did a review of. Which is actually my last video I did. Let's go check that out. Cool. Uh, you got a Lego Technic set, which I got for my birthday last year I want to say, I think so in Star Wars sets, and these are actually the only two uh, sets I still have fully intact 
if you can believe it, I don't have really many, but I do have Darth Vader's uh, flying machine and then a little AT something. I can't remember the full stuff of it, because they have a lot of AT, ETs, whatever, so it's hard to keep track of exactly which one you have. Got some from Indiana Jones right there, not too much, and you got Pirates, stuff right here. Um, most of it got destroyed because I dropped it, yeah. The biggest thing I have still from that is the the house from it. So that would be the base of operations for my for making pirates animation, which I do have enough minifigs for, because they're all right there. So yeah, you have some motorbikes from LEGO Racers, you have a truck from the Police Pursuit I did a review of not too long ago. Got a Lego camper, which is a spot you can sleep right up in there. You got from the Lego, it's like kind of a tra Lego trailer type of thing. You got the nice yellow car with the trailer, which opens up just like this. And you got the big truck, that damage, I can't remember where the pieces are. The gas station for it, and the big tanker at the back, whatnot. You got the police truck, police prisoner transport. Nice fire truck as well, motorcycle big boat that really covers all of that and that I'm gonna show that I guess I'm going to my minifigures I have a lot you got Marvel at the back here if you want to look at that you got DC up next just looking at that you got the Lego of the Rings Lego Hobbit stuff and you got a Pirates of the Caribbean you look at that and you got Lego Star Wars and then over here you got some Lego Star Wars some more guys up here a little bit too, and then most of them is just Lego City or other minifigures. Can't remember what they're for. And then the other day, I did buy these things. The first one contains just heads, body parts, whatnot, like that. And then the other one contains all these weapons. So I probably have like a weapon for each of my minifigures. And I have 153 minifigures, so. I don't know how many weapons I have for that. And just miscellaneous items in case I need them. The reason I bought it is so I have a space for it and I want just putting it on my minifigure box, which is not in my room right now. But, yep, that's that. Close this up. And my plans for my next animation are this. My plans first were going to be Lego Batman. Yeah, I was going to say, nah, I don't really want to do it now. Do it later. I got a comment to say do Lord of the Rings, I was like, I'll do that. But then I was really thinking, hmm, I have a lot of, like, Marvel sets. So I was thinking I'd do a Lego Marvel animation for my next one. Be using that a lot. Maybe some of those too, so that's what my next animation will be. It's Lego Marvel. If you guys have any ideas for it, I already have a few in my head, but if you guys have any ideas for a Lego Marvel animation, please leave it in the comments below. What not like that. And then Lego Lord of the Rings animation will continue after that. So yeah, thanks for watching my, I guess my Lego collection. I also have some uh, boxes down there and whatnot of Lego. So thanks for watching my Lego collection, everyone, and I will see you later for another video.